Hello friends, my name is Bilal Khan and today I'm going to be talking about another lesson of the Rust book that is basically using the super and the self keyword. So let's go to the screen and I will show you there. So as you can see here that I'm currently in the Visual Studio Code. So the first thing that I'm going to do in order to like create this file and then I will explain that what the super and self does. So first of all, let's write uh, cargo new. Uh, what you can see here, the lesson number is 16, uh, super self, okay, or self super, whatever you name it. So I just naming it. So this is the package name, super self, okay. So now, as you can see here that the file is created now, let's go to the cargo.toml file, uh, sorry, uh, source main uh, .rs file. And now the first thing that I'm going to do is to show you that what the super does and what the self does. So let's say if you have like uh, one module and inside this one module, there are multiple functions. All right. So in order to like uh, refer to the next function, that is uh, in order to refer to another function that is present in the same module, you can use the self. All right. So let's say if there are two functions, function one, function two and then you uh, they are present in the same module but you are referring to one function in the same module then you will use the self keyword but in the super keyword is little bit different from it so let if uh, let's say if you have two modules and one module is containing function one and second module is containing function two so function one is will be a parent module uh, uh, parent fun uh, what you can say parent and the function two will be a child so let's say if you want to access a parent as a child so you have to use the super keyword in order to access the parent all right so if you have two modules function one and function two inside those two modules then the function one is a parent the function two is a child then in order to access a parent you have to use the super that is above you so a super means it is above you so a child will uh, approach the above function that is the uh, parent function all right so i will show you through the example that how it will look like so now the first thing that i'm going to do is to show you the examples of uh, self so let's say mod <coughs> And inside this mod, I will write like uh, uh, testing, all right. And inside this testing, I will write create one, uh, sorry, two functions. The first function is going to be uh, what you can see here, uh, what you can call here that uh, foo, okay. And foo is written, is written, okay. And then the next function is going to be bar okay foo is called foo called and then what i will write here print line for uh, i will not write print line but uh, instead i will call this function so how we can call this i will call this self and then foo and now the self function uh, sorry the foo function is called now, because they are present in the same modules, so one function is called into another function uh, by using the self keyword. All right, because they are in the same module. But let's say if they are not in the module, then you can directly call them. But they are in the same module, you have to use the self keyword with it. All right. So now let's make this function public because I have to use this function for called outside this module. So in order to use outside this function, I have to make it public in order to use it outside this function. That is the main function. All right. So let's say hmm, foo called, oh, but, but before going to the foo call, let's write uh, testing and then foo called. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, let's go to this uh, what you can say sup uh, 16 super self and then cargo run now you can see here foo is written why because now the foo is called and this is not going to be public because i have not used this directly outside this function instead i have used this function outside this uh, module and now this should be public and yeah this is what the self will be called yeah, inside the module, if you want to call another function, you have to use the self with it. Now, this is the self thing. Now, let's go to the super one. 
so in the super case as you can see here there is one module but i mean i will be create uh, i will be creating two modules so module one is going to be like parent module and now the, inside the parent module i what i will do here i will call, uh, create a function that will be called let's say parent function okay parent function and after that i will write like this this is the parent function okay now here uh, inside this parent function i will write another module that is child okay so child is going to be let's say um, what you can see here this i will write a function here that is basically child function um, child function and sorry inside this child function i will write a print statement also this is the child function and you can see here there are two uh, like modules or uh, they are nested module but what i'm going to do i will call the super keyword and after that i will write the parent function so now if i write like this yeah so what i will do here uh, what it will do here basically it will call first of all the parent function then it will call the child function in the uh, in the nested module not in the parent module instead all of these things will be printed in the nested module first of all i also need to write like this one so um, public uh, make this function public because they will be it will be called outside this uh, uh, outside this module and also make this nested nested uh, child American module also should be public so now let's write main function and inside this main function what I will do here I will write parent and after that child and after that child function and if I print this time you will see here this is the parent function this is the child function why because now that this child function is basically executing these two functions it is taking the parent function from the uh, parent module that is on the upper level and it is printing the child function that is printing here also so now this child function is basically printing both of these things all right or is executing both of these values so yeah this is how the a super module a super uh, what you can say keyword or the self keyword will work because uh, the self keyword will work inside one module in which you have to call like multiple functions between each other and the uh, so what you can super uh, keyword will work in which you will let's say if you have parent module and child module module and you want to call between them so yeah this is how the uh, super and self will work so from this lesson i hope you understood and like this video so if you liked it then make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions then ask those questions in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer all of them so till then goodbye